You are watching Psycho Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Backpacks come in very handy for those of us who ride a motorcycle, especially for those riders who commute to work and school. But have you ever thought for a moment, how safe are you wearing a backpack on your motorcycle? You know, should you go down and crash? How safe are you going to be? Well, hey, I want to discuss that in this video, and I'd like to get your feedback as well. As some of you may know, I ride with an Axo motorcycle backpack. It's actually very inexpensive. And I've carried everything from a helmet shield to tripods, cameras, a laptop computer, Chinese food as you see there, a gallon of oil, motorcycle parts. But are these items in my backpack compromising my safety? You're probably thinking I should just upgrade to a more expensive backpack that appears safer. One of those with a hard shell on the back so that it'll be more conducive to a slide. Well, hey, let's take a look at those type of motorcycle backpacks. We'll start it off with this backpack. This looks pretty safe, right? You're thinking as soon as you see this backpack, you're like, wow, this looks much safer than the backpack that Cycle Cruiser has. It's, I mean, look at it. It's got the, uh, looks like an aluminum shield on the back that would be conducive to a slide should you fall on your motorcycle. Look, the eBay ad even says, look, back spine protector. You're like, wow, and $44.95, such a cheap price. And wow, this must be the backpack that's fantastic. And, and one of the safer backpacks, right? Wrong. Just take a look at this review somebody did on this backpack. He said the backpack didn't even last a month before it started deteriorating. And the metal plating, which we thought was such a cool safety feature, is just a piece of painted plastic. I'm telling you guys, this is what I'm talking about, man. I mean, these backpacks, they give this marketing appeal like it's such a safe backpack. And this backpack is not better than the backpack that I have, probably even worse and I'm going to show you some other backpacks, some well-known backpacks that are actually even more expensive that are not as safe as you think they are. For example, I'm sure you've heard of the OGO No Drag Series backpacks, which the No Drag kind of implies that should you crash on your motorcycle, maybe the backpack's not going to drag you down. It doesn't say that, but that's what you're thinking because, you know, it says No Drag Series, right? You know, wrong. I mean, that material that makes it look uniform i don't know what it's made with plastic or what have you but it's not ce approved armor this is not going to keep you any more safer than the backpack that i have that's just a soft regular old backpack so there again you know marketing it's all marketing pill all marketing hype the only real benefit to these expensive backpacks is they have nice compartments inside where you can organize your stuff a little better. And they have tend to have better straps to help center the weight a little better. But besides that, you know, these backpacks really are not any safer than the cheap Axo motorcycle backpack that I have. That's the plain truth. I want to discuss these four main issues that could illustrate the safety risk on the danger of wearing a backpack while riding your motorcycle should you crash. Now this is just conjecture. These are not facts. I'm not an expert. I just want to discuss this with you guys as a community. I'd love to hear your feedback and I'd especially love to hear from you riders that have experience on crashing with a backpack. The first safety issue that I have is should you go down the backpack can create a space between the ground and your helmet so that can result in your head snapping back which could possibly result in whiplash. Another safety concern is carrying hard items in your backpack, such as your laptop, phone, etc. I mean, these items can impact your spine your, or other areas around your back. And it also could prevent natural twisting of your body, which would put more force on your frame, possibly resulting in more damage to your body. The next safety concern is the backpack could impede sliding on your back, which would force you to roll more than you normally would have if you were wearing a backpack. Your body rolling can be more dangerous than sliding. And lastly, another concern would be the backpack shoulder strap breaking and the backpack coming loose, which could pose a danger to you. Although my safety concerns may be just conjecture, here are some suggestions to help prevent injury. First off, restrict carry-on items to soft items only, such as clothes and paper, etc. Also, get a good quality backpack with good straps. My Axo backpack, although it was very inexpensive, it is a very sturdy backpack. And I'll tell you, I actually incorporated it into my workout. I put a 60-pound dumbbell in it, and I do pull-ups, and I've had no problems with that backpack, and I've had it for years. 
Another important suggestion is to wear a back protector. I have an Icon back protector that fits in my Icon Overlord jacket and is also a standalone back protector. In my opinion, you should always wear a back protector whether you wear a backpack or not. Uh, also, Kriega makes a, a back protector insert that's very inexpensive that you can actually insert into your backpack as well. And lastly, make sure your backpack is strapped to you tight. In my opinion, to be on the safe side, Store your stuff in a safer alternative storage solution such as motorcycle tail bag and or saddle bags which I did a full review on some go check that out in the info section of this video. Uh, motorcycle magnetic tank bag, a fanny pack although some of you might think that's kind of lame but it does work but I still would not store hard items in that that could be just as dangerous as wearing a backpack. Uh, camel pants you know a lot of you guys comment on my camel pants the only reason that I wear those is because they're baggy enough that I can wear them over my AGV sport perforated leather pants uh, which has CE armor in them uh, the, the perforation actually allows cold air in on really cold days and when I put the camel pants over it it keeps me warm not only that it has huge pockets on the side where I can actually store my GoPro Hero cameras and a bunch of other stuff so that provides extra storage as well. Also, hey, get a, a CBR 1000 double R. You know, the 2008s and newer have a really large trunk space. Uh, it has straps in the bottom so that you can strap stuff down. I can include a, a 35 millimeter camera and four of my GoPro Hero cameras in that trunk. That's how big that trunk is on that bike. Links to get all items shown in this video are located in the info section of this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave some feedback. I'd love to hear your experience with different backpacks. Stay safe and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click to Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.